All right, guys and gals, we have got two breaks tonight. One of them is super quick. That's one of our autograph multi-sport jerseys. Our other one, well, it'll take us a little while. That's a jumbo case of uh, 2019 Series 1 baseball. Before we get started ripping into things, though, we do have a little pre-break information to go over. So we're going to go ahead and get rolling with that while everybody gets in the room and gets settled. So feedback automated makes life easy for us both anytime you leave positive feedback for me you are going to instantly get positive feedback in return with no waiting and of course the other message there is to say thank you i do appreciate appreciate all of you everybody who bids with me and breaks with me chats with me you guys keep me company keep me updated on scores which speaking of feel free to keep me updated on the score of kentucky missouri tonight it's early in that game so uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll be finished before the game's finished. You never know. All right, we're taking a look now at breaks that are listed on eBay already. This is the stuff we're going to be uh, breaking over the next five days. So tomorrow, Wednesday, of course, is a new release day. We're going to open both things that come out tomorrow by a full case. So Impeccable Basketball, that high-end release, we'll do a full case of that followed by a full case of select football. We all love select football, right? Pretty much, I think. Yeah, we do. And uh, the XRC Redemptions do have their own bidding spot in that break. Typically, I think they said this year, maybe it's supposed to fall around three a case. Uh, sometimes that will vary a little bit, but I think that's kind of the rough estimate. Thursday will be a gold rush, uh, a pair of gold rush autograph mini football helmets, another case of impeccable basketball, and a fourth case of Leaf Flash baseball. On Friday night, Leaf Best of Basketball comes out. That is going to be all kinds of awesome. We will open a case of that as well as a second case of select football. Saturday, we'll open a three box case of Onyx Preferred Players autograph baseballs. We're going to give a go to something called Gold Rush Trifecta Football. It's got three autograph memorabilia items in it, and apparently it could be one of any number of things, or some, you know, it's going to be some combination of these things. A jersey, a football, a mini helmet, uh, a photograph, cleats. I don't remember if there was anything else listed as an option or not, but anyway, it looks interesting. We'll give it a shot and see if we like it. Also, another case of flash baseball and a two-case break of Revolution Basketball, the Chinese New Year edition. All that on Saturday night. Sunday, we'll do a TriStar Game Day Greats autograph football jersey. Another case of Leaf Best of Basketball. The last master case that I have of Panini One football. So if you've been waiting to pull the trigger on Panini One, uh, Sunday is the last master case I have of that on hand. We're also going to open some 2018 Heritage Minor League Baseball on Sunday night. I have a case and a half of that. We're going to open the half case, which is the loose boxes of it. And I don't know why. Somehow, I guess I didn't ever get it opened when it released. So, hey, yeah, well, better late than never, right? We are looking right now at a page that has quite a bit of information on it. So let's try to boil it down here. We have one free shipping break tonight. That's our multi-sport jersey. Free shipping stuff always projected to go out no later than a week after the break. So that means it'll be on the way to you no later than Tuesday the 26th, the week from today. But most likely it's going to go out to you sooner than that. Then our paid shipping break tonight. That's our top series one jumbo. It should be on the way to you uh, on or before Saturday. I'm sure everyone saw in the listing description that base cards don't ship out to the teams. Base did have its own separate bidding category. Uh, we'll go over that, of course, more when we get to that particular break. Now, consolation cards. You don't really have to worry about that for top series one because even though the base had its own bidding category, each of the teams will still, I'm, I'm confident, end up pulling some cards uh, in the break as well that will be shipping to the teams. But... In the multi-sport jersey, of course, not everybody can win that. There's one jersey in there, right? So our consolation cards come into play there, which means this. If your team, or rather in this case, your letter, is not the one pulled tonight, then you are entitled to a consolation trading card. It can be from any year in any series. I keep track of it for a rolling 90 days. 
Because that is a free shipping break, I would typically just hang on to your consolation card and I would send out any that you are due the next time you have a package shipping. If you don't want to wait for that, all you have to do is just send me a message and let me know you'd like it sent right away and I will gladly get that squared away for you, okay? So first up tonight, uh, I think we had maybe one letter not paid in here. Um, yeah, we do. It's not really a... A big uh, a huge thing though I mean it's such a small amount of money I'm probably just gonna let it go but what I will do uh, is mark that it is currently unpaid just for the record there so this is break number three of a leaf autograph multi-sport jersey and of course everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay the uh, Tuesday the 19th of February of course, you've got uh, these sold by first letter of last name. So Hank Aaron would be an A, Willie Mays would be an M, so on and so forth. There are two possibilities for multi-signed jerseys in here. That's the 1969 Jets, the 1980 USA Hockey. If we were to pull either one of those, they would, of course, go on to uh, their specific unique bidding spot. Last but not least, you're probably going to notice the background goes out of focus here a little bit. And that is by design. That's on purpose. So don't sweat that because we're still going to be able to see everything without any issues. Looks like we've got, is, I never say your username right. Is it Lasans? Is that right or wrong? It's probably wrong. Um, but I'm trying to say hi to you, but I suspect I butchered your username for which I apologize. Yeah, you guys all know struggle with those things I don't know I don't know I've got some kind of mental deficiency where I look at it and I can't quite work out how it should be pronounced I don't know what that's about short circuit somewhere somewhere in my brain when I look at things and think this is how that should be pronounced or sometimes even when I've heard them pronounced I hear it and I still don't get it out so I got close then. Uh, Lasans. Okay, so I got close. All right. Maybe not exactly right, but, but close. Is this Alex Rodriguez? Dang, man. That, that's nice. So A-Rod. Dang, son. That is a nice jersey in here. So this is why we like the Leaf Multisport jerseys, isn't it? I want to see if this is custom or not. So this, of course, is going to go to uh, bidding position R, because obviously his last name starts with an R. It is Beckett authenticated. You can see there is your Beckett certificate and the Beckett sticker on the item, which is far more important of the two, is the sticker on the item. And I guess it is, it is a custom. Okay, it is a custom Yankees jersey. I thought we might get lucky and it would be authentic, uh, but it's custom. But let me tell you what, it's got a... Uh, whew, it's got a... Um, a little smell to it <laughs> not like a bad smell not like a you know not like a an unpleasant smell it smells kind of perfumey honestly which is a little weird but um anyway maybe whoever packaged it up was wearing some heavy aftershave cologne perfume something because it definitely has a a, a, a smell to it <laughs> Sure, it'll be fine when you air it out, though. Anyway, that is a nice hit for bidding position R with the Alex Rodriguez, the little A-Rod jersey. So, nice hit there for the R's. Sam is here. Hi, Sam. And James is here. And James has a big yay. So, I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that um, James probably had R in this break. Am I right? Am I on the right path with that thought process? I bet I am. If I am, congratulations. It's a nice hit for you. Okay, we just went over this a minute ago, so I'm going to just go out on a limb here and assume that the vast majority of you saw it. If you jumped in late and you did not see it, please take a minute, read the information that you see there, hit me up with any questions. You can hit me up live in chat right now while we're streaming, or you can always send me a message uh, by way of eBay if you see it after the fact with a question. So, next up six boxes which is a case of 2019 series one baseball this is the jumbo case this is break number five same format that you have grown to know and love that is team names on one side and uh, your ebay user id is up in lights across from your team on the right hand side one other thing to note 
once again, base cards had their own bidding position in here. So that was stated in every listing description, which I know you guys read. So um, I'm going to assume that everyone knows that. What do the teams get? Well, that was also in the description, so I'm guessing you probably saw it too, but while I'm getting it out of the case, we might as well talk about it. So the teams are going to get uh, autograph hits and relics, numbered cards, short prints, super short prints, and uh, did I say autographs and relics? I did, didn't I? And inserts. And by inserts, I mean the things that are listed on the tops checklist as being an insert. So that's how things are going to flow here tonight. Everything else that isn't one of those things that I just named off will end up going to that base card shipping category. So base card people, you will have a lot headed your way. Right now, I just have to get the rest of them out of this case. Good grief. Seriously, they were not wanting to cooperate with me. Now, the good thing about this, you've probably all at some point opened Series 1 or Series 2 or updates, so you probably know this already. But the way the jumbo packs are structured, it's pretty awesome because all of our hits and inserts and short prints and super short prints are all right in the middle of every pack. So all we have to do, since our base cards uh, are shipping separately, we just will look through the first pack so you can kind of get a feel for where the, where the base cards end, where the middle begins, and so on and so forth. After that, we'll just kind of cut right into, we'll head right to the middle without looking through each and every base card. And that makes it a little bit more manageable in terms of the amount of time it takes us to look through the gigantic amount of cards that we have in this break. So, oh, James, you were going for Ronaldo. You were thinking it was going to be soccer. Well, I, I mean, I could see that. We have had a couple of soccer players come out of here. So, uh, yeah, I could see how you would go that route. But I would say that uh, A-Rod was a pretty good little consolation out of there. I don't pull him out of jerseys very often. Okay, so this is where our middle starts, meaning these are the things that go to the teams. This has the 150th anniversary gold uh, logo stamp on it. And this is another uh, insert, Greatest Players. Then we have an, a 35th anniversary insert, that one, of course, for the Braves and Acuna. This card is numbered, Boston's Boys, numbered to 76. So, of course, it also goes to the teams by virtue, or to the team, by virtue of the fact that it is numbered. Now, everything after that, that, that sleeve was kind of bent up. It's not the card right there, guys. That's just the sleeve had a weird bend in it. And then, of course, after that, we are back to uh, the base, which goes to its own category. So just for the purposes of this first pack, that's kind of giving you an idea of how it's going to look. Now, from here on out, we're going to slide ourselves... Uh, right on into that middle or as close to that middle as we can get ourselves and get things going that way a little faster. So there's the 150th uh, gold for the Orioles with Kashner, a greatest players for the Indians, Brewers 35th anniversary. Uh, these tops now inserts are actually insert sets as recognized by tops on their on their checklist and then everything else was base. All right, let's get ourselves to the middle and we're starting the middle here with a hollow foil. And the hollow foil is for the Atlanta Braves. It's their ballpark. This guy, the stats guy, revolution of the game, he's going to have to set up there in the uh, to be determined area and we'll give him out using random.org at the end of the break 35th anniversary Aaron Judge for the Yankees our first hit is Chris Bryant for the Cubs with a little major league material card coming out here for the Cubbies all 
and then that the rest from there is base. So I'm sure that uh, everybody is looking forward to Heritage. We are not too far off. Uh, I was looking, there's no 150th on that. We're not too far off from the release of Heritage. 27th of this month, I think it is. Tampa Bay Rays, that is numbered to 2019. Whenever you see that kind of, um, it's kind of almost like a pea green sort of color. But when you have that sort of uh, color border, it's going to be to 2019. Greatness returns. Now, some of these will have uh, players from the same team. Some of these have players from different teams. Obviously, that one has players from two different teams. So it's going to set up here in the housekeeping area. We will uh, get those awarded at the end of the break as well. 35th anniversary, Molina for the Cardinals. And uh, then, yeah, we're back to the base. That was it for that one. Hi, Patty. How are you doing today? I didn't see you jump in there. I must have been uh, off in my off in my own little world there somewhere. I didn't even see you come in. How's it going, Patty? A hollow foil Michael Fulmer for the Tigers. An evolution of baseball. That's the San Francisco Giants. 35th anniversary for the White Sox, Frank Thomas. And then we have a home run challenge, Jose Altuve. So the way this works, guys, when you get it, uh, if you have, if you are the Astros, you scratch that little box off. It gives you a code. You go to the website there on the back. You enter that code that's on the back of the card, and it's going to give you an opportunity to choose a date when you think the player on the card will hit a home run. And if you choose correctly, you will get a special uh, Tops Now card. Uh, after at some point after the home run is hit, obviously, and you also get entered into a drawing to win a trip to this year's home run derby and some stuff like that, I think. So 150th anniversary, Charlie Morton for the Astros with the gold stamp on it. Bryce Harper and the Nationals, greatest players for the Yankees, a 35th anniversary, Derek Jeter. Our manufactured relic out of box number one is uh, it's going to be numbered because it's got the 150th anniversary on it. It's for the Braves, Tom Glavine. And it is, of course, numbered to 150. Got that big, heavy metal medallion there. So what is everybody thinking now about Manny Machado and the Padres? How are, how's everybody feeling about that? That contract was bigger than I thought it was going to be. I kind of thought that's maybe where we would end up with Harper. But since we ended up at 300 mil for Manny, you know that Bryce is going to insist on having a higher contract. So that I, I would I my projection is Bryce will now be signed by the end of the week. I think he just didn't want to be the first one to sign. So he could have the market set for him, if you will. The 150th anniversary gold for the Brewers. Greatest players, Giants, 35th anniversary for the Rangers. Here comes our autograph hit out of this box. And it is for the Tampa Bay Rays. Jake Faria, numbered 250. And it's the first in the series. <laughs> You know, that gives me a special little thrill, right? <laughs> when, when they come out first in the series or last in the series, I like that better. I don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Greg. How are you? You said you're waiting for Bryce. I know you're a Phillies fan, so you're thinking, uh, you're thinking the Phillies have $360 million to spend. That would be quite uh, record-breaking, uh, current Record-breaking contract is the 325 million that went to um, Giancarlo. Of course, you know he got down in Miami. Of course, they traded him out uh, before he got that contract finished up. But that's the deal he signed was for 325. So that would be a big jump if Bryce gets to 360. I'd be really surprised, but hey, you never know. To 2019, that's Jordan Hicks for. The Cardinals, a hollow foil for the Mariners with your ballpark. And this looks like a little uh, anniversary 
card here. It is uh, Pujols, and it's got the 50 years rookie card stamp on it. So again, that's the iconic card. You guys know that that's my kind of favorite part of this set. 35th anniversary for the Astros. I love all those rookie reprint cards. I think they are really cool, and I look forward to finding them. So I always enjoy them. I don't know why. I mean, I know they're reprints, but for some reason they they still interest me. I think they're about my favorite part of the set. Braves with the greatest players. There's a Cole Calhoun hollow foil for the Angels. The Blue Jays with a 35th anniversary Roberto Alomar and a Bryce Harper Tops Now insert. Yeah, so Patty, you think uh, you think it's gonna be all all good down there in San Diego? Yeah, I think he's a nice addition to the young group that they have, and of course they've got a really nice farm system down there in San Diego as well. So if you get the right pieces around him, that it may not be a short term play. You may not see like next year they should win more games, but they may not suddenly like be in the playoffs next year. But I think in the long haul, over the course of a few years, I think it will be evident his value to them. That's the Diamondbacks. That was the 150th gold stamp on it. Greatest players for the Brewers, a hollow foil for the Mariners, 35th anniversary for the Phillies, and then we are back to the base. So that was box number one. So Greg, you want uh, you think the Phillies are going to go after Mike Trout next year, huh? Harper this year and Mike Trout next year. Well, I mean, you know, Mike Trout is uh, is an Eagles fan, isn't he? So it would make some sense. He would want to be up in the Philadelphia area. I know he roams around the sidelines at some football games. I'm pretty sure it's the Eagles that Mike Trout is a is a fan of. So you never know. Stranger things have happened. Would be a, a hefty, hefty payroll to get him. Let's just hope when it comes time that he's able to sign a little quicker than our guys were this year. I mean, that's been... Uh, two years in a row, free agency has just been weird, hasn't it? Everybody's signing like after people have reported and to 2019 Yankees. Uh, after spring training has started, it's just strange. Iconic cards insert for the Cardinals, a 35th anniversary. Mike Trout, speak of the devil. And then we are back at the base. So some of these have more inserts in them than others, obviously. But, of course, we also knew that from having opened this a bunch of times before now. 150th gold, Justin Turner for the Dodgers. There's a Tom Seaver for the Mets. 35th anniversary Red Sox, Pedro Martinez. A Tops Now insert for the Angels. Oh, you said Mike Trout is, uh, wants to play in Philadelphia. All right, well, there you go. Then he just shot his negotiating power, didn't he? <laughs> it's like, what's that thing? You know, when you're buying a house, you're buying a car or something, you're always supposed to act like, oh, there's things you like about it and things you don't, so you have better uh, bargaining power. And it sounds like Mike Trout's already given his bargaining power away. James Paxton, 150th uh, gold for the Mariners. Ripken and the Orioles, there's a nice Juan Soto hollow foil for the Nationals. A 35th anniversary Will Clark for the Giants. Yeah, I hadn't actually heard him say that he specifically wanted to play in Philadelphia uh, when he hit free agency, so I was not aware that he had already stated that. I guess that uh, live and learn, right? I guess somebody somewhere, he probably didn't care about the money, though, honestly. He's probably got so much money, he's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I've got plenty of money, he says. 
Perez to 2019 for the Kansas City Royals. A hollow foil for Andrew Miller and the Indians. There's an iconic card reprint of Ty Cobb and the Tigers. 35th anniversary Mike Piazza for the Mets. And then back at the base. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, look at that. I wasn't too far off because there's our 150th gold. Wilson Contreras for the Cubbies. Nolan Ryan Astros. The Cardinals with Bob Gibson, 35th anniversary. This is going to be numbered for the Mets with Jeff McNeil, numbered 250. So a nice low-numbered parallel here for the New York Mets. And then we are back at the base cards. So, Greg, what else is happening up around uh, the Philadelphia area? What kind of weather are you all having around there? Are you in the path of that big storm that's supposed to be coming through? Hollow foil Brett Phillips for the Kansas City Royals. A greatness returns, but uh, these are, again, two different teams. So they're going to go, the card's going to go up there in our housekeeping area. 35th anniversary, Steve Carlton for the Phillies. And we have ourselves a little relic here, Mr. Rizzo to 150 for the Cubbies. Well, Greg, the next tops, um, I believe, is on the 27th. Um, that I haven't seen that last list I sent you. Uh, they have not sent me any updates from that. So as far as I know, that last calendar that uh, you asked about is the most current. Now that's not a, never a hundred percent, right? Sometimes they don't send them to me, but <laughs> that's the last one they sent me. So assuming that is correct, we would have uh, Heritage Baseball coming out on the 20, 27th. Now, I don't know what you're calling quote-unquote good baseball. I mean, Heritage, once again, has lots of base cards in it, so I don't know if you're talking about things with more or less base cards or what exactly your criteria is there, but I believe that's next on our calendar. Red Sox, greatest players, a hollow foil for the Braves. My Cincinnati Reds, 35th anniversary Joey Votto, and a tops now for the Cubbies. So you are looking for three, you have, or you are going to get 3.5 inches of snow. You already have 3.5 inches of snow? I think we're not going to get any snow. We're going to be warm, actually, relatively speaking. Too well, not warm. Not like summertime, but too warm to snow, in other words. The Orioles with the 150th gold stamp on it. There's Jim Palmer for the Orioles. A 35th anniversary Chris Bryant for the Cubbies. Our manufactured relics is for the Mariners with Felix Hernandez. And that's a big commemorative medallion once again. Um, uh, oh, you said three to five inches coming of snow coming. Okay. Yeah, it looks kind of like it's going to be brutal up in some parts. Excuse me, up in some parts of the country. For us, we're supposed to be getting like record-breaking amounts of rain. <laughs> so they've got us under flood watches and everything else, and the rain hasn't even really moved in yet. It's not even coming in until I think maybe overnight tonight or tomorrow. But what you guys are getting is snow. I guess we're going to be getting walloped with rain, it sounds like. That is a hollow foil for the Yankees and an evolution of baseball for the St. Louis Cardinals. The Angels with a nice little 35th anniversary Shohei Otani. And then you have a home run challenge card for Cody Bellinger. I like those home run challenge cards. I mean, I think it's kind of fun to play that game. And if you get lucky, then... Um, you get the top now card if you guess it right. And if it holds true to the way it was last year, 
those cards actually sold for a decent amount of money. The ones that you get for being correct on the date they hit a home run. Anderson and the Rockies, 150th gold stamp. Harmon Killebrew for the Twins, the Brewers' 35th anniversary. And our autograph hit is for the Brewers. That is Travis Shaw. It is hard signed. It is 35th anniversary. And it is numbered to 50 as well. So the Brewers with a nice low-numbered autograph hit there for Travis Shaw. He held out there till the last pack of that box, didn't he? Kind of being elusive. Oh, Greg, you guys are going to get hit by... Um, hit by rain too after you have the snow it's going to rain well at least that'll help melt the snow right <laughs> i mean i guess i would think right gotta be a good thing sort of get rid of the snow a little faster that way i haven't seen jay allen in a few days uh Actually, it's probably been about a week or so, maybe. I don't know exactly when, but in the last four or five days, anyway, probably. I assume he, you and he uh, still chat back and forth some. Is everything all right with him? It's unusual for me not to see him for that many days in chat. Eduardo Nunez, that is numbered to 2019. And uh, that, of course, is for the Red Sox on a World Series card iconic uh rookie card iconic cards insert rookie card reprint tukey 35th anniversary for the braves and uh yeah after that we're back at it with the base he's doing good all right well good i'm glad to hear that i know everybody has been talking about the flu going around like crazy crazy uh everywhere so you never know it's gonna tag you 150th gold there's sandy koufax for the dodgers for the nationals it's trey turner on a 35th anniversary and a shohei otani tops now insert okay where did we there we go that's our center, our little Tootsie Roll center. John Gray, 150th gold, Colorado Rockies. My man Hank Aaron for the Atlanta Braves. Love him. Carlos Correa, Astros, 35th anniversary. Our manufactured relic here is like a little manufactured uh, hat patch or cap patch. It is Elvis Andreas for the Rangers. I kind of like the cap patches. Uh, I almost like them better than the medallions just because I think they're cooler looking, sort of. I mean, <laughs> I think a little. I don't know. I mean, I do like the medallions too, but something about those little cap patches, they just fascinate me. I don't know why. Oh, Greg, you have a cold? Well, that's not good. Nobody wants that. A hollow foil Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs. And another greatness returns with two different teams on it. Heads up to housekeeping for us. The Indians, Jose Ramirez, 35th anniversary. And uh, here is our second relic out of this box. Our game used relic is for Corey Seager and the Dodgers. So we've seen both relics, but not yet our autograph out of box number three here. Anybody have a Kentucky-Missouri uh, score update by chance? Anybody watching that game on ESPN or seen a score alert go by on anything? It's probably halftime now. I don't know. I would, it might be past halftime. I lose track of time sometimes. Diamondbacks, followed by a hollow foil for the Dodgers, a 35th anniversary Benintendi for the Red Sox, and a tops now insert for Glaber Torres and the Yankees. Ah, 
and we're getting there. Hollow foil, Red Sox, evolution of the game. This is uh, sunglasses, so it's going to go up here with our statistician, and we'll sort that one out at the end of the break as well. For the Mets, Jacob deGrom, 35th anniversary. So now this, uh, this home run challenge for Bryce Harper, of course, is going to go to the Nationals because he's a National uh, on this card. Uh, but I don't know how that will work in reality because Topps has got some weird rules about those home run derby things. Like if you choose a date where, I don't know, a game gets rained out or... Uh, it's moved or something like that. They don't let you choose again. It's just like, whoops, too bad. And if you choose a game, of course, where your player is rested or sits or for some other reason doesn't play, they don't let you redo, which I kind of understand that more than I can understand one that's rained out or rescheduled or whatever. So it, since he's going to be on another team, I don't really know how they'll do those. You have to check that out when you get it. 150th gold for the Rangers a vintage baseball evolution of the game, so it will also go up there in housekeeping. Kansas City Royals, 35th anniversary. Here's our autograph out of this box, and it's a little rookie hit for the Braves with Colby Allard. Allard, Allard, which is it? You know I'm going to have it wrong. Whichever way I say it, it'll be not that way. <laughs> I try. I do try. I'm just really bad at it. Patty, thank you for the score update. It is 41 to 23. My cat's over Missouri at halftime. All right. Well, I like the sound of that so far then. I was a little bit worried about how they would come out because, you know, they had the nice win over Tennessee. And sometimes you have a big win like that. And then the next thing you know, they have a letdown on the next game. 150th gold. Babe Ruth. For the Yankees, uh, Nick Williams for the Phillies, and uh, base. So I'm glad to hear that they've managed to keep their heads about them today so far. I shouldn't say that. I should find some wood to knock on. We still got half a game to go, but for the moment, anyway, looks like they haven't, haven't panicked on us or slacked off either one. For the Braves, there's Julio Tehran to 2019. A hollow foil for the St. Louis Cardinals. An iconic card, rookie card reprint for the A's with Jose Canseco. 35th anniversary, D. Gordon and the Mariners. Well, come on now. 150th gold for the Toronto Blue Jays. There's an Ichiro for the Mariners. Hollow foil for the Red Sox, David Price. 35th anniversary for the Cubbies. That is our halfway point. So now we have opened three boxes and we have three boxes left to go. So tomorrow night, I'm pretty stoked about tomorrow night. First of all, I like impeccable in any sport, basketball, football. They don't make it in baseball, but um, I like impeccable. So I'm looking forward to that in basketball, but I'm really looking forward to select. It's got a lot of cards, so it takes a while to open. That part, you know, is not as much fun. But looking at what you get is a lot of fun. There's some... Really nice looking cards in select. I like the tie-dye stuff and, of course, our zebra parallels, which should be falling one per case and all kinds of interesting stuff in select. So I look forward to it every year. 150th gold Springer and the Astros. Beltre for the Rangers. That is the Twins on a 35th anniversary and a Juan Soto tops now insert for the Nationals. But the Topps baseball calendar has been weird this year a little bit, you know, um, because they moved Tribute, which normally would have been between Series 1 and Heritage. We would normally have had Tribute. 
and they moved the release date of that all the way into June for some reason. To 2019, there's Carlos Correa for the Astros revolution of the game. This is um, a commissioner, so he's another guy that's going to go up there on our TBD pile. The Astros and Verlander on a 35th anniversary. So yeah, it's been kind of an interesting sort of baseball release so far. It's like we got Series 1 and then just nothing for a really long time <laughs> until we get Heritage. Zach Greinke, Diamondbacks, 150th goal. Babe Ruth for the Yankees. Seth Lugo for the Mets. The Cardinals with Luke Weaver on a 35th anniversary. Which I'm kind of okay with a moving tribute, really. <clears throat> because I think if they move it farther back, well, you never know why they've moved something over there at Tops. But my assumption is by moving it farther back, you know, back into June, you can get some more players in it. You know, maybe some of these guys who are going to be called up uh, a few weeks after the season starts or something. Eduardo Nunez, 150th anniversary. Tom Seaver in the Mets. Uh, there's the Orioles, Trey Mancini. And this is going to be numbered for the Rangers with Leclerc to 67. So it just, I guess, depends on what their motivation is for moving it. But hopefully it'll help us out a little bit. Maybe we'll see some more of our hot young players in there. Because let's not kid ourselves. All these teams are manipulating service time. And so they're going to be holding some of these kids back off of opening day rosters that are completely ready to play, other than the fact that the teams want to, you know, control them for an extra year. So they're going to hold them in the minors for that extra week or two or month. For the Mets, that is the 150 gold, the Braves, and the Diamondbacks. And we have a little autograph for the Royals, Kansas City Royals. Jake Junis, and that is on-card, hard-signed autograph for Kansas City. Well, hi there, Griffin. How are you tonight? What's happening in your neck of the woods, Griffin? Anything interesting going on uh, in your world today? The Yankees, the Brewers, the Phillies with Aaron Nola, and then the Angels with a Mike Trout game used relic. That's nice. Did I put that in the wrong sleeve? Yes, I did. Dang on it. All right, let's try that one more time in the correct sleeve this time. Yeah, that's a little better, a little more like it. So I think it's kind of cool. Get a piece of a baseball bat that Mike Trout, you know, used in a game. I think that's cool. Oh, you're going to get hit with the snow. Yeah, see, Greg and I were talking about that earlier, about who's in the path of that. Uh, here, we're just in the, in the area that's going to get rain. I don't think we're going to get any snow. If we do, it'll only be there for a few hours overnight tonight and then be gone, but I don't even think we're going to get that. Brewers, 150th gold stamp on it. That's the Dodgers and Duke Snyder. The Oakland A's with Mark McGuire, 35th anniversary. And our manufactured relic is one Shohei Otani with our nice little uh, cap patch relic there. So that's a cool little hit for the Angels who end up uh, with two of the three hits out of this box. Got the game used and the manufactured relic both out of that box headed to the Angels. Oh, Griffin, you got your Aaron Rodgers today. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the mail not running yesterday. That just always messes me up when we have those postal holidays. It's like, I don't know, just gets everything all out of whack. So I'd say a lot of stuff. A lot of people probably got uh, stuff today, I would think. The Orioles, the Cubbies, Javi Baez, um, hollow foil. The Royals with a Bo Jackson 35th anniversary and a Mike Trout tops now.
looks like we've got a home run derby card that I see the edge of coming there in a minute. A hollow foil coming for who is that? Oh, we got two different teams on there, don't we? Yeah, we do. So we're going to have to uh, put that in housekeeping as well. And these guys uh, both on the same team on that card, both angels. So it doesn't have to go to random. The Mets, 35th anniversary Jeff McNeil, and a home run challenge, Shohei Otani. That's a nice one. Well, you, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, he had Tommy John surgery, so he's not even going to play. Well, yes and no. You're definitely not going to see him pitch until 2020. However, I fully expect that we're going to see him uh, as DH this season. So I think you will have an opportunity to see him smack out some homers and redeem that card. I just don't think, obviously, we're not going to see him pitch till 2020. D. Gordon and the Mariners to 2019. And a dynamic duo hollow foil for the Astros. An iconic card reprint, Aaron Judge and the Yankees. 35th anniversary, Whit Merrifield for the Royals. We are four down, two to go. Yeah, Griffin, everything was sold tonight except for like one person in the jersey spot that hadn't paid. And, uh, you know, it was like a, a, a $3.99 bid, I think, or something really close to that. Like the buy-in bid amount or maybe a, an increment or two above it. Uh, so I just let it ride. I didn't even worry about attempting to move it in chat or anything because that's so disruptive you know i hate to do that on stuff and so i don't do it all the time unless it's several teams or it amounts to a lot of money or somebody's particularly interested in it but if it's just like a little low dollar amount or relatively low dollar amount sometimes i just let them let them ride and don't worry about it for the mariners 150th gold and that's Pujols, but for the Cardinals, you'll note, so that one goes to St. Louis. That's also the Cardinals, 35th anniversary. And a Tops Now Shohei Otani for the Angels. Oh, Ironhead, you said he's going to be uh, designated hitting by May. Okay, all right. So that's actually not too bad. I honestly thought it would be maybe a little bit uh, later in the season than that. So if he's if he's ready to roll by May, that's that's really not bad at all. I'll be glad when we get to see him pitch again. He's fun to watch, isn't he? Pittsburgh Pirates to 2019, a hollow foil for the Red Sox, an evolution of the game for the Cubbies. Why am I putting that up there? That doesn't have to go anywhere. It's both both sides of that card were the same team. Chance Adams, 35th anniversary for the Yankees. You said tomorrow night will be a good one. I'm assuming, without even knowing what you're indicating there, that you're talking Duke, North Carolina. Is that what you're saying to me? I'm assuming. I saw that the tickets, the resale <laughs> price on the tickets for that Duke, North Carolina game are approaching the ticket prices for the Super Bowl. Gold stamped for the Twins, 150th anniversary. Uh, Carlton Fisk for the Red Sox. The Padres with Urias, a uh, little rookie card, 35th anniversary. And Urena here for the Marlins is going to be numbered. And it is numbered to 67. Um, James, you said you're a Red Sox fan, so getting an A-Rod jersey is nice, but you might set fire to it. <laughs> Man, do not set fire to it. No, no, you get your revenge, you see, by selling it. And then you take the proceeds from selling that Yankees memorabilia from that team you don't like, and then you spend it on things for your team that you do like. See, that's how you exact your revenge. <laughs> No, no, you definitely don't want to burn it. Mm -mm. Not, I know you're not being literal, that you wouldn't literally burn it anyway, but 
I'm just saying feel good about uh, knowing that you're going to reinvest that money in your team. Hollow Foil for the Kansas City Royals. That's an iconic card reprint, of course, for Frank Thomas from his rookie card. Uh, White Sox. The Red Sox, 35th anniversary Mookie Betts. And a Labor Torres home run challenge for the Yankees. The New York Yankees. wonder what an A-Rod autograph jersey goes for. I don't know. I would think decent money, but I haven't priced one personally, uh, so I don't know. But I would imagine it would go for a decent amount of money. That's the Yankees and Babe Ruth, a hollow foil Chapman for the Yankees. The Nationals with a little Juan Soto 35th anniversary. And Mr. Acuna for the Braves on a Tops Now insert. But we've kind of we've been pulling some cool stuff out of that Leaf Multisport jersey uh, case. I bought a whole case. We're just breaking them one at a time, and I I like what we've been pulling so far. So hopefully there'll be some other good stuff in there as well. I'm sure there will be. To 2019 George Springer and the Astros greatness returns. Those are both cubbies, so we don't have to put that anywhere in housekeeping. The Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw, 35th anniversary, and back to the base. Yeah, see, that was really nice, wasn't it? And then we had, um, and then our second uh, jersey was also soccer. It was Hope Solo. So we had two soccers come out in a row, oddly enough. And then, of course, tonight, the third one was the, was the A-Rod. So we've had two soccers and a baseball show up so far. Garcia, 150th for the St. Louis Cardinals. Ted Williams for the Red Sox. Dansby for the Braves on a hollow foil. The Red Sox, Wade Boggs, 35th anniversary. I just kind of like the idea that literally about anything could come out of those Leaf multi-sports. So that's part of the appeal for me is just, you know, to chance at something different. And some of the hits in there are pretty good. And you can get some good money for them. So I figured we'd have a go at it and see what kind of stuff we pulled. And so far, so good. Steve Pierce, Hollow Foil, Red Sox. A George Brett iconic cards reprint for the Royals, the Brewers with Robin Yount, 35th anniversary, and one Andrew Benintendi for our game used memorabilia headed to the Red Sox. We're going to have some basketball jerseys again pretty soon. Um, Gold Rush basketball jerseys are coming out again. Autographed ones, I mean, in about, I don't know, another week or so maybe. And I'll probably get a case of those. We'll, we'll start breaking those again soon. 150th for the Red Sox, Mookie Betts. Piazza and the Dodgers for the Indians. It's Trevor Bauer. And we have uh, our manufactured relic here. Is for the Angels. Another Mike Trout relic. Nice. This is uh, numbered to 150, and you got your 150th anniversary stamp on it as well. So now you have a game used Mike Trout. You have a manufactured relic cap patch Mike Trout, and the manufactured relic for Shohei Otani. So the Angels uh, actually doing pretty well, all things considered. find the center. There it is. That is for the Blue Jays with Ken Giles, a Bo Jackson iconic card reprint. Mitch Hanager for the Mariners on the 35th anniversary. And our autograph hit is the Cardinals. And it is the rookie card of one Patrick Wisdom on the 35th anniversary. Parallel, it's hard signed autograph, of course, for St. Louis. Now we are on our last box. So it is last box mojo time. 
You know what that means. We collectively work our mojo. Hope for the big hits out of here. This is the last case of jumbo that I have on hand. Uh, I don't know. I might buy some more in. It just depends. We've got Heritage is another one that takes a while to break. It's very base card heavy. So... I don't know if I'll if I bring in more series one, it probably wouldn't be until after Heritage. So, but you never know. I mean, I have some people that I buy this from on the secondary market, series one, series two, and update and all that. Some of it will come from my distributors, and some of it I buy secondary market. And it'll definitely, I'm sure they'll still have some if we decide to do more of it. That is numbered to 2019, but you do have two different teams on the card, so it also has to go up there into housekeeping, as does this. The Padres' 35th anniversary, Trevor Hoffman. to me center we are starting the center of this one a hollow foil and the twins eddie rosario and an iconic indeed when you like to have that is the original <laughs> warren spawn for the braves and of course that said milwaukee braves but you guys know the former milwaukee braves are the current atlanta braves it always goes you know it stays with its franchise, so it'll go to the Atlanta Braves. We had a 35th anniversary Mitch Hanager for the Mariners. And then you have a home run challenge card for the Cubbies with Kyle Schwarber. This is numbered to 2019. It is Jose Abreu for the White Sox. I was in recent days really kind of thinking that Manny might end up with the White Sox. I mean, I originally kind of was thought, okay, Padres. Like when we were talking about, oh, they were the mystery team and all that. Marcus Stroman, hollow foil for the Blue Jays. An evolution of the game for the Cubbies. 35th anniversary for the Royals, Ryan O'Hearn. So I kind of at that point thought, oh, it might be the Padres. But then in recent days, I had given over to the fact that I thought it was going to be the White Sox. So then when it did swing back around to the Padres, I was a little bit surprised. Because honestly, I mean, they're kind of a smaller market team. And that is a boatload of money they just put out. 150th D. Gordon for the Mariners. Koufax for the Dodgers, a hollow foil for the Phillies, the Yankees 35th anniversary for Lois Sega, or something not even remotely close to that. <laughs> Probably not. But I guess really they probably have some cash to spend because they know they've got all the young guys in their farm system. You know, they got those guys on the cheap. So I guess that's where you make up the difference. Taking all the years it took to build the farm system, then you just put in one big free agent and off to the races. For the Rangers, Nolan Ryan. There's Jose Abreu for the White Sox with a hollow foil. The Twins, Jose Barrios, 35th anniversary. And a Mike Trout Tops Now insert. Now, I keep thinking my Reds are going to do something like that, but we make really weird moves in Cincinnati. 150th for the Cubbies. New York Yankees and Lou Gehrig. There's a 35th anniversary Matt Olson for the A's. Our manufactured relic is Manny Machado, Speak of the Devil. Uh, the commemorative medallion comes out for the Dodgers. I don't know. I kind of think my Reds just brought in all these guys on these expiring contracts just thinking, 
Maybe they could put a more watchable product on the field for one year. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. So I don't think they can re-sign most, most or any of those guys. 150th gold for the Yankees. And Babe Ruth for the Yankees. The Brewers 35th anniversary. And they won Soto Tops now for the Nationals. James, I don't think I've got the other multi-sport breaks up yet. Um, I need to get another one up. If I don't have another one listed, which I don't think I do, um, we'll probably, well, Monday would be the earliest I could get one listed because it's always going to be five days out because otherwise eBay charges you an extra fee if you list something for less than five days. Like, how stupid is that? But that's how they are. actually charge you an extra dollar an auction per listing if you let if you do it less than five days joey lucchese padres hollow foil iconic reprint babe ruth for the red Sox. i'm flipping that over so that you guys uh know red Sox. i'm sure pretty much everybody knows babe ruth started out by the red so with the red Sox. but just in case i wanted to have it on camera D-backs, Zach Grinke, 35th anniversary. Our uh, relic here is George Springer, and it is a postseason relic. How about that? Numbered to 25. So the Astros with a little low-numbered George Springer relic. Not too shabby. So Monday would be the earliest, James, if I don't already have one listed for it which I want to say that I don't because I think I've got some mini helmets in. I try to do a memorabilia item most nights, but I don't always do more than one per night. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. 150th for the Pirates. Willie McCovey for the Giants. The Rangers with a Joey Gallo 35th anniversary. So probably around in there. Probably Monday we'll put in, we'll put in another multi-sport jersey and... Uh, maybe a full-size leaf autographed helmet. I haven't done one of those in a week or so. I still need to get the mixers together. I want to do another baseball, football, and uh, basketball mixer. And I just don't have them put together yet. But I need to get that done. Kenley Jansen and the Dodgers. Uh, 150th gold stamped. Mike Piazza and the Mets. Matt Olson, 35th anniversary for the A's. And here comes our final hit out of this case. And it is Ken Giles for the Blue Jays is our autograph. And it is 150th anniversary stamped, meaning it will be numbered to, you got it, 150 on the back. Okay, now the rest of that was base. So before we recap, which we'll do here Shortly, we do have some housekeeping issues to take care of. So if you bear with me, I'm going to get uh, a bag and a sleeve so that I can do a little writing on a few things. So the first thing that we will do is this little group of cards here. Um, well, that doesn't need to be there. That's for the Cubs. That does goes, just goes to the Cubs. These do need to be here. So uh, our... Mr. Landis here, a commissioner of baseball, doesn't have a team associated with him. The evolution of equipment, and again, an evolution of equipment. Those don't have specific teams, and our statistician, of course, does not have a specific team. So all those cards are going to go together here, put them in a little package, and I'm going to use random.org to award those cards, this cards, these, that little pack we just looked at. And I'm going to bring you along with me while we do it. So we're going to go here first to the spreadsheet. And from here, I'm just going to copy each of the team names and the base card position. Because base cards uh, was a bidding position. It will act just like a team in this instance. So it's going to get a shot at uh, getting these cards as well. Now, when I use random, when I have nine or fewer items in a list, I will just do random three times, okay? And the first two don't count. The third one tells the story. However, when we have a lot of items, like we do in here, we have 31 items, counting our base card bidding category, 
than I do random one single time. So I scrolled through there. You saw all of our teams are there. Good luck, everyone. And it is the Oakland A's. So this little stack of cards that we looked at a moment ago, which is in this bag, uh, is going to the Oakland A's. That's why they're in the bag, so I could write on the bag. Surely to goodness, I think everyone knows I would not write on a card, but there you can see it's on the bag, not the card. Now we have these cards. And in each instance, we've got somebody on the left and somebody on the right. So what I will do, we're going to go to random again, but in this case, because we have only two items in the list, left and right, this is the instance where I will do random just uh, three times, but just the third one is going to count. The first two are not going to count. So let's get that typed in here. All right, so you can ignore the first one and ignore the second one, and this one counts, third and final. There you'll see three times our date and time stamp comes up as the left-hand side of the card. So let's take a look at what that means. I'm also going to put one of them in the sleeve so that I can circle what's on the left, and that serves as my reminder for later. So that means we're going to Ricky Henderson and the A's. Here we're going to Ichiro and the Mariners. We're going to the St. Louis Cardinals there with Bob Gibson. And we're going to the Orioles here. On this card, on the left, the player on the left-hand side happens to be for the Rockies. So Colorado Rockies getting that spot. And on the left side here, of course, we have Shohei Otani for the Angels. So that one will be going to the Angels all by way of random.org. These are numbered, don't have autographs or relics attached. It's to 2019, 2019. The Urena is numbered to 67. 2019, 2019. Here's LeClerc and the Rangers to 67. 2019, 2019, 2019. The McNeil for the Mets is numbered to 50. 2019, 2019. You got it. 2019. Imagine that. Also to 2019. And then for the Red Sox, numbered to 76, you have uh, Boston's Boys. So those are our numbered cards that did not have autographs or relics attached. Autograph for Ken Giles, Toronto Blue Jays, numbered to 150. A game-used relic, Andrew Benintendi for the Boston Red Sox. And here is George Springer and the Astros. That is a postseason performance relic, numbered to 25. Manufactured relic, that's Manny Machado for the Dodgers with the commemorative medallion. An autograph hit for the Cardinals with Patrick Wisdom. That is an on-card, hard-signed autograph. The Ken Giles was a sticker autograph. The Angels and Mike Trout, numbered to 150 with a manufactured cap patch relic. The Angels and Shohei Otani with a manufactured cap patch relic. The Angels with a Mike Trout game-used relic, piece of the baseball bat. Kansas City Royals, Jake Junis, hard-signed autograph. The Atlanta Braves with Colby Allard, hard-signed autograph. The Dodgers with Corey Seager, game-used memorabilia. Manufactured relic, cap patch Elvis Andreas for the Texas Rangers. Hard-signed autograph that is also numbered for the Brewers. That is Travis Shaw, and it is numbered 250. You can see down there in that bottom corner. A manufactured uh, relic. It's our commemorative medallion for King Felix and the Mariners. Anthony Rizzo and the Cubbies to 150, a game-used relic. 
an autograph hit for the Tampa Bay Rays and Jake Faria. This one is also a sticker auto. The legacy of baseball is typically R. It is numbered to 50, and it is first in the series, number one of 50. A manufactured relic numbered to 150, Tom Glavine and the Braves. You can see the numbering there on the back. And last but not least, a Chris Bryant game-used relic for the Chicago Cubbies. So that is it for me tonight. I will, of course, put up our spreadsheet information here one more time. For anybody who might have missed it earlier, we'll take a look at both your projected shipping dates and uh, the breaks that are coming up here in the days ahead for anybody who might be interested in knowing what we've got coming up for the next few days. So once again, multi-sport jersey, the free shipping break will be on the way to you no later than Tuesday the 26th, the week from today. Typically, they go out a little faster than that, but that would be the latest that it goes out. And of course, our top series one jumbo that we just opened should be on the way to you by Saturday, possibly sooner, but shouldn't be any later than Saturday. Of course, by now, you guys all know the drill. All those base cards uh, ship to the base card bidding position the hits and uh, the numbered cards and all the stuff that we stopped and looked at in the middle all those inserts that we called out to teams those are what sort out and are shipped to the teams if your team was not pulled in the multi-sport jersey break your consolation card would typically be held until your next package ships just because it is a free shipping break but if you would like it sent sooner you only need to drop me a line and let me know and i will gladly get that taken care of I think every team probably pulled cards in the top series one break on the odd chance that someone didn't pull something, which I really have not ever had happen up to this point in time. But if that should oddly, I mean, it's in theory possible. If that were to have happened uh, tonight, you would still get consolation cards and they would ship with the rest of the break. So this is a look at what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow is a new release day, of course. Wednesdays and Fridays tend to be our new release days for the most part. Impeccable Basketball and Select Football, both coming out tomorrow. We will open a full case of each. On Thursday, we'll open a pair of Gold Rush autographed mini football helmets, a case of Impeccable Basketball, and a case of Leaf Flash Baseball. On Friday, Leaf Best Basketball comes out. We'll open a full case of that and a full case of Select Football. Saturday, a three-box case of Onyx Preferred Players autographed baseballs. Gold Rush Trifecta Football, that happens to be um, uh, three autograph memorabilia items in that box. It can be one of several different items. There's more information in the description about that. A fifth case of Flash Football, and we'll open a two, uh, we'll do a two-case break of Panini Revolution Basketball, the Chinese New Year edition. Sunday, we'll open a Game Day Greats autograph football jersey, another case of Leaf Best of Basketball, more Panini One Football, that's the last full master case that I have on hand. And then we will open a half case of 2018 Topps Heritage Minor League Baseball. So that's what the days ahead look like. And uh, I guess that's got us locked up. We are finished up for tonight. So once again, thanks everyone for being here. I appreciate you spending part of your evening with me. I hope that you have a great night ahead. Uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow night. So until then, uh, we'll see you. We'll see you the next time. Take care now. Bye bye.